Hey loves, Brianna here and welcome back to my channel. So this video, I feel like I always start off my channel by saying that, like I'm over it by the way. Anyways, so this video has been long overdue. I've gotten so many DMs, so many personal messages under videos. I've gotten it under just my pictures on Instagram. Like I've even gotten emails on this. <laughs> so you guys have been literally begging me to put out my perfume haul. And I'm excited because you got the right girl to give y'all the tea on the scents that you want to be smelling like, that you need to be smelling like, that you need in your collection. These perfumes that I'm giving you, I have so many perfumes and if I literally were to tell you every single one and show you every single one that I have, this video would be way too long. You guys would probably get bored. But anyways, I'm going to show you my top, let me count because <laughs> it's quite a bit. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna give you all my top 16. <laughs> These perfumes are literally, I know it's like a lot of top perfumes, but honestly, I'm such a perfume girl, and that's one thing about me. I love smelling good. Like anything I own that can make you smell good is just literally like me. Like I love smelling clean, but at the same time, I have where I wanna smell clean, but sexy and warm and just like grown. You know what I mean? Y'all know the vibes. If you're a real perfume lover, you know the vibes of the perfumes, okay? So I'm gonna be giving you perfumes from like my running errands type of perfumes down to like my date nights, going out, like I'm wearing something fancy and you know, it's a very nice, intimate, sexy type of night. I have those type of perfumes as well. So I'm gonna start off with the like running around perfumes. So this one right here is one of my favorites. It's kind of an older one. It's not really new. I'm sure you guys have seen this one. This is the KKW um, body perfume. This is the, um, I really don't know the scent of it, but first of all, body's bum, okay? But I got this up when I was still living in Florida and I actually still have it. Um, I don't know, I just, I like, I don't know, this one I like really hold on to because I'm like, some. I think it like ran, I think they like discontinued it but then they just brought it back, I don't remember but anyway, it's still here, still have a lot in there and I'm still loving it and it still smells exactly the same. This one right here is one of my perfumes that I like to wear when I'm running errands just on a regular day when nothing's really going on and I'm just putting on some regular chill clothes to go run out real quick. This is a perfume that I like to spray and it lasts all day. When I tell you it lasts all day, it lasts all day. Like I had it on yesterday and when I tell you, I love a perfume where I just get random, random whiffs of the smell. Like I just love it. And one thing I did learn about perfumes that you want to look for to where they're long lasting and they smell all day, you want to make sure that they have the Eau de Parfum. <laughs> I'm over there right here. You want to look for that. When you're buying a perfume, it needs to say that right there because I learned that that means that it has, I think, like the oils or something in it and that makes it to where it just lasts on your skin and it lasts longer. This one right here is a perfect, like, fresh, clean smell. But my next one for, like, an everyday, fresh, soft, but yet still smelling and lasting long on the body is this one right here. And I actually picked this up yesterday. Um, I just went into Sephora because, I don't know, I love perfume and I was itching to get a new one. So I picked this one up and this is by Reserve, Clean Reserve, and this is in the scent Skin, and it's a floral musk, and oh my god, it just smells so good. It's so light, but yet you still can smell it, and it's not overpowering for during the day, running out. Like, it literally smells like you jumped out the shower, and you just smell like you're a clean person, like... You're really, really clean. <laughs> so I picked this one up yesterday and I'm really, really obsessed with it. It smells so good and um, I don't know. It kind of caught my eye too by saying skin. You know, we want to smell like, you want your skin to smell good. So I picked this one up yesterday and I really, really love it. My next one that I like to wear kind of during the day also, um, sometimes I do mix it with my perfumes at night and that's another thing about me. I really like mixing perfumes um, just to come up with like different scents, different smells, you know what I mean? So this next one is the Giorgio Armani um, perfume and it's actually really pretty like look at that it has like shimmer in it but when you put it on you don't see it like the shimmer's not there so disclaimer um, but this one oh it smells fresh like now this I keep saying out the shower but it literally smells like you just jumped out the shower and you just smell clean like so bomb I picked this up one day in Neiman's I was just walking through and I was like hmm, that's pretty 
and I like the bottle, I like the color, and I smelled it and I was like, mm, need this in my collection. This one right here, I don't wear too often. Um, this is more of a like, I have to be in the mood for it. So this is the Creed um, Aventus. This is, normally you see Creed and you see men wearing it, but they have some for women as well. I mean, it even says for her on here, so it's for women. And it kind of gives you more of a man, it does kind of give you more of a manly smell, but at the same time, it gives you like a clean woman smell. Like honestly, this could be like a unisex spray. Um, it's very strong, very long lasting. Um, this is one of those perfumes that you could wear during the day or at nighttime. Um, I don't really know how to explain the smell, but... Oh, I don't know how to explain the smell. It just smells so good and it just smells like you got money, period. <laughs> so now we're gonna move on to more of like my nighttime scent and I feel like I have more of those than daily ones because I don't know. I don't really be doing this stuff during the day anyway so I need my nighttime perfumes, okay? <laughs> so this first one right here is this Coco Chanel um, Mademoiselle. <laughs> Oh, I butchered that. Mademoiselle. Mademoiselle. Don't, don't, don't even bash me, y'all, okay? So, this one right here, for one, look at how cute it is. So cute. But this one right here, oh, now this, honey, this smells like you need to be on Rodeo Drive, shopping, just having a ball, going on a shopping spree, getting whatever you want, okay? This just smells fancy, grown, sexy, you in your bag, you're a boss woman, and you got shit going on in your life, okay? This is one of my favorites. Um, this one, I just, I don't know. I have my perfumes where I'm in the mood and I have to be like in a mood. Like when I open my perfume drawer and I look at my perfumes, I sit there, I'm like, hmm, does this go with my outfit? You know, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I have perfumes that I feel like go with certain outfits. Like I got my classy outfits, I got like my edgy outfits, I got my, you know, real preppy like bossy outfits you know i got perfumes to go with outfits <laughs> this next one right here y'all is one of my favorites and i don't know why i'd be holding on to things and i never want to use them all even though i can rebuy it it's just like i don't want to rebuy it because for one these perfumes are not cheap okay this one is one of them ones where i used to wear this every single day to where i was like brie you gotta chill because you're gonna run it and play it out okay so this is the Byredo um Val da Freak I believe that's how you pronounce it and this one is a unisex one for one but this one smells so good like it smells like clean fresh sexy grown yeah it's all that and I love it love it love it love it when I tell you I used to wear this every single day People are probably already knew what I had on. But I love this and it is unisex. A lot of these perfumes I'm showing you are more of the oil based too. And they're the LD perfume, perfume, whatever it's called. And this is going to last all night, all day. You don't got to reapply. You was, you're going to be smelling good all day and you're going to walk past somebody or people. They're going to be like, mmm, she's smelling good, okay? Honestly, one of my, my hair is looking crazy today, y'all. Like, this did not come out today. But anyways. Honestly, one of my favorite compliments is, oh, you smell good. What is that? Or just, oh, you smell good, girl. I love that comment. Like, I love that compliment because it's like, mm -mm, I know I smell good, but thank you. <laughs> this next one right here, um, I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of this one. This one is one of my favorite, favorite, favorites. I only wear it in the summertime, though. And this is the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. And when I tell you it smells like you need to be on the beach, you need to have a pina colada in your hand and your body needs to be all nice and oiled and shimmered. This right here is gonna top it off. When I tell you I love this, it smells, it just smells like summer. And I also have, I also have the body oil. Um, it's a body oil with like shimmers in it. Oh, I love that stuff. Like it's the same scent, but it's just a body oil you spray on and has shimmers. When I tell you those two in the summertime, will have you looking like a golden goddess okay have you smelling like a golden goddess now this next one right here is one of my favorite favorite favorites all of you are my favorite favorite favorites but this one right here is a long lasting strong scent you're gonna be smelling it all night and everyone's gonna be like oh girl what do you have on this is the louis vuitton 
I'm not even about to try to pronounce the name. I'm not even about to try it. But don't you see? Like, look, it has my initials. So cute. When you buy it, you can get your initials embroidered on it. You can get your initials put on it. Oh, it smells so good. Now, this smells warm, very sexy, very grown. This is my nighttime. This is another nighttime perfume for sure. And this is like you're going to a nice dinner, nice little intimate restaurant, lights very dim, you know, smelling good, getting ready for your man, for your date, with your friends or your man, whatever you got. But this right here is what you need. And I'm going to tell you one thing about these perf perfumes. These perfumes are pretty pricey, okay? Um, especially these next ones I'm about to show you. They're pretty pricey, but they are so worth it because, for one, they last a very long time. They last on your skin a very long time. They last on your clothes a long time, and your hair, wherever you spray it. And they're good quality. And for me, I don't mind spending the money on something when it's good quality. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't mind spending the money because I know it's going to last me, and it's not a waste of money, and I'm not going to have to keep on spraying it, and it just is gone within a month. You know what I mean? Like... My perfumes last me months, and I spray a lot of perfume. Like, I'm not that type where I'm like, can't, can't, mm, mm, mm. no, I'm like, <laughs> like, that's just how I spray my perfume. I'm OD with everything, but that's how I do it, and my perfumes last. They last. Oh, I forgot about this one. I should have did this with the other Tom Ford. But this Tom, this is the Tom Ford fucking fabulous. So, this smells like... It honestly smells like leather, right? But a good leather, like a, it, I know that's weird. It smells like leather, but yet, honestly, I don't know else, I don't know how else to explain it. It smells like leather, but yet, it has like a warm scent to it that gives you like, Oh, I don't know how to I don't know how to explain this smell but if you guys ever see this in stores check it out smell it they I believe they do sell it in Sephora too check it out and smell it and y'all let me know if y'all have this let me know what it smells like because I don't know how to explain it but it does smell like leather but this is a very long-lasting one too and it smells very good in and, and this one can be like a unisex one as well so this next one is one of my favorites when I was in Miami I was like oh Oh my gosh, I really want it. But I was like, oh no, babe, you don't have to pay for it. Like, I have so many perfumes. Like, it's okay. You don't have to get it for me. He wanted to get it for me really bad. But I was like, no, even though I really wanted it. But I was like, no, it's okay. I already have so many. But, y'all, this, it's funny because the story, you know, when you, you see something, you're like, oh, I should have got it. Like, I should have got it when I was there. Now I'm not going to stop thinking about it. And, I don't, they, they, I don't see, I haven't seen it anywhere in stores here in Atlanta. So I had already had this on like one of my, I already had this like in my mind that I wanted to get this perfume one day. And, you know, I was just like, well, maybe one day I'll run into it in stores. Because for one, I be hating to order stuff online because I want it right then and there. Okay. So this is the Delena exclusive. Um, This perfume right here, oh, for one. The packaging is really cute. It's kind of messed up a little bit. Um, like it's great because I be traveling with it and yeah, it's been around the world. Not around the world, but it's been places. And this perfume smells so good. It is on the more pricier side. Um, it's, it's long lasting. Oh my gosh. Like this perfume. For one, this perfume reminds me of Miami. Like I don't know why, but this perfume smells like Miami. Gives me Miami vibes. Um, I actually sprayed this on the other day. And I mixed it with Arizona. Um, this Arizona perfume. So right here is um, Arizona. The perfume I'm talking about. But I actually have the perfume. It's just downstairs I think in one of my suitcases I haven't unpacked and I no what did I mix with this I'm lying but anyways let me just say this right here Arizona smells really good this is a body oil it's a dry hair and body oil and this smells so good the perfume smells so good and this body oil you don't even have to put on the perfume when you use this because it smells just like the perfume but it's all over your body got your body looking nice and moisturized and glowy this is a must have y'all and Kylie actually put me on to this she bought me the perfume for my birthday and then I went and picked this up because I love the perfume so much and it's so long lasting and this is one of the perfumes when people are always like oh what is that like that, you smell so good this is one of them 
and y'all feel like body oils and you want to smell good all over from head to toe baby you need this so back to this one this one smells very warm it's a very warm scent very sexy very grown it's something that you don't I, I feel like I don't really smell on people too often but the other night I mixed it with my um Mason my Mason Francis Baccarat and I went to dinner with Kylie and Kylie was like oh my gosh girl what is that you smell so good and I put these two together and I never did and when I tell you this is a scent this is a combination right here that you need baby you need it it smells so good because this one already like first of all look at the bottle this bottle looks like sexy grown money sophisticated bossy this is it and this is actually unisex scent and it just smells so good it gives you an, again nice warm scent but these together give you like extraordinary scent okay like who doesn't want like honestly mm, honestly honestly if y'all ever get to check if y'all ever check this out or get a scent or get a sample of it i don't i've never seen it in atlanta so i don't know where to tell you to get it here in atlanta but you can find it online um like i said delana exclusive um but these two together just give me a scent to where it's like oh baby this is gonna be another go-to because it smells so good since we're on the mason francis i have three other ones by him i just love oh my gosh when i tell you these perfumes are bomb they're so bomb last all day all night oh my god they're expensive but they smell good so this next one is actually one of my newest ones I picked up um, this is one of my newest ones out of the ones I have that I picked up and this is the gentle fluidity um, this one very warm again very um, woody type scent musky I'm terrible at um, explaining the scents I'm sorry y'all but I'm letting y'all know so y'all can check them out go in the store get you some samples um, get you a test and a lot of these perfumes like the Mason Francis ones you can find I know here in Atlanta only in Neiman's they don't sell it I don't think yeah they don't sell them in Saks but Neiman's you definitely can go to check them out um, also the Byredo one as well is in Neiman's but um yeah this one's a very very good one now these two are my like oh my gosh for one look at this I'm like almost out of this one this one my man loves this one on me like he he loves all my perfumes because pretty much every perfume I have he's been with me and if he likes it I'm getting it because when a man likes a perfume that means it sounds really really good so this is the feminine feminine plural I could have just made that up like I wear it so much you don't even see the man's face Francis writing on here anymore <laughs> but this one oh my god okay whoa I haven't worn this one in a long time because, again, I'll be trying to save my stuff. But this one smells like you soaked in the bathtub for five days and you just sat in soap and your body was like reborn, new skin. And you just smell like a bottle of soap and you smell so good, like fresh, crispy, clean, but still like this gives you like a bright feeling like a bright uplifting feeling like grown <laughs> the way i'm explaining these are terrible but again this is literally one of my top five perfumes right here it smells super super fresh and clean a lot of my perfumes are very fresh and clean and warm um those are like my scents. I'm not a fruity girl at all. You will not catch me with no fruity perfume. I've never been the fruity type. Um, I don't even like fruity candles. I don't like fruity scents. Because after a while, I feel like they start to smell a little funny. And they be smelling a little childish to me. I'm sorry if y'all like fruity, but I ain't your girl for fruity ones, okay? This next one is another fave of mine. My man really loves it on me as well. This is the Mason Francis A La Rose one. And this one is a little bit lighter, but yet still very clean, very fresh. Um, these two right here are definitely ones that you can mix with other perfumes. I like mixing like clean, fresh ones with more of the woody, uh, musky, warm scents. Wow, we went through that quick. But on to my last one I have. This is the YSL, um, this is the YSL L Libre. Oh yeah, this is the YSL Libre perfume. This one. Oh wow, this one is very grown, <laughs> very sexy, very, um, very again, warm. Um, 
yeah, it's just very grown and sexy and warm and just it smells really good. Again, this is another one. All of these I've gotten the ooh, you smell good. Um, this is another one of them and I'm sure you guys have seen this one around a lot, but this one smells really good, very long lasting as well and get it sis you need it but that's it y'all i have so many other perfumes like i said i feel like if i came on camera and gave y'all every single one we would be here all day but now you guys can see kind of what i'd be smelling like and i don't know when it comes to perfume i feel like perfume represents me and it represents what type of woman i am and how i like to carry myself and i carry myself very high standards head is always up and I'm very confident in what I do. Of course, I have my self-esteem issues sometimes. Everybody's not perfect. We have our days. But I have more good days than bad days. And, you know, I'm very strong-minded. And I feel like these perfumes really represent me as a woman. And a mature, grown, sexy, bossy, sophisticated woman. And that's what I feel like these perfumes do. And I don't know. Perfumes be put me in a mood. Like... Once I got my outfit on and then I go spray my perfume last, I be feeling like that, that, I be feeling like, you know, <laughs> that. <laughs> so I really hope you guys enjoyed this perfume haul and let me know if you guys pick up some of these perfumes and let me know if you guys have them already and what you guys think about certain perfumes and let me know if I should, if, let me know if there's certain perfumes that I, if there's other perfumes that I need to pick up that you guys would feel like would be my type of scent. Let me know, I love recommendations of new things, anything. One perfume I do wanna get is the perfume that Rihanna wears. I was looking at it the other day, and right now I'm trying to decide if I wanna buy the full size or get the little the little um, travel one. But it's like, okay, I get the travel one and I like it, cause you know them travel ones be having like 10 sprays. So I'm trying to figure out which one I wanna get because that perfume is almost $300. <laughs> So I'm trying to figure it out, and it's only an online type of thing. Um, I don't think they sell it in stores, but if I do get it, I will let y'all know. If y'all have it, let me know what it smells like. Like, is it something I will wear out of these perfumes I'm telling you about? And if you know some of these perfumes, is it something I will wear? Let me know if you have that or if you've smelled it before. Let me know because Rihanna looked like she just smelled good 24-7. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm so sorry this video took 10 hundred years to... um be brought to my channel <laughs> but thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe if you are new and don't forget to like this video and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye